Hi guys. All right, this is gonna be a real quick video. Um, what I did was I took the different hot foils that are out there. Again, this is different from mink foils. Hot foils already um, have an adhesive built into them. And when you put heat to them, they then stick to your surface, whether it be um, paper or fabric or whatever it is you're trying to hot foil. And you can use hot foiling dyes um, that are out there or what everybody is using right now is the new foil quill, which are hot tipped adapters that um, there's different uh, tips. There's bold, medium, and fine. I have the bold in my machine now and they are charged through a USB. So then what happens is these tips get hot and then on the hot foil, they will make your design in your Cricut, Silhouette, Brother, Scan and Cut, Sizzix, whatever electronic die cutting machine that you have. So anyway, I've tried out these different companies, six different companies of hot foil. Uh, one thing you'll notice is I switched over to a Cricut mat. I got two for $14 at AC Moore. Um, and this is a much thicker, heavier mat, and it's not as sticky as the Silhouette mat. So um, I got that tip from the many, many Facebook groups that are out there for the foil quill. Um, but the other thing I was playing around with was learning how to fill on my foil quill. Now, I'm not going to do a video on that. Um, if you want to learn how to fill, you can check out the, again, many videos that are on YouTube, uh, the Facebook groups that tell you how to fill with your particular type of machine so that you can get solid foiling. Now, all I'm trying to do here is lift this up off the mat, which is brand new, so it is quite sticky, but... Um, hasn't ripped my paper yet. Not like the silhouette mat. The silhouette mat is super sticky and it just ripped my paper everywhere. Okay, so. Voila. All right, very happy with that purchase. All right, so let's reveal here. This is just regular plain black card stock that I have run through, and we will reveal them here. Let me pull off all of this washi tape. Now, I will say this. It took a really long time, and the foil quill just kept going over the same areas over and over and over again. So um, I think these are going to be dulled down a little bit just because of how much pressure was on them. Um so don't be discouraged by that. I just wanted to show that all of these foils would work because they all are heat activated foils. So that is the purpose of this experiment. I'm not looking at the quality of the, the foiling because again, I just wanted to sample out the foil here. Okay, so the first one that we have here is the Toto foil. And this is the Toto foil. It comes in six. Well, I think you can get an individual packs. I'm not sure. I got this when I got my Toto machine. I got silver and gold. This is the gold pack. There's regular, there's matte, there's holographic. So a lot of different colors of gold there. And this is a six pack. And I got this from Create and Craft TV. Okay. So that worked fine. The new Spellbinders Glimmer foil. That's this one here. It's like a bronze. It's called... I don't know what it's called. Glimmer aluminum? No, that's just glimmer foil. It's in a different language. I don't know what color this is. It's a bronze color. Um, so that one foiled just fine. We have the Go Press and Foil, which is uh, Couture Creations Go Press and Foil. This one is called Pink Purple Foil. So that one foiled fine. Gemini foil from the foil press. This is the paper version that I use. This is just regular green. They call it Holly. The uh, We Are Memory Keepers foil quill foil. This was just a red that I pulled out of the uh, Flamingo pack. And then the last one is just a foil of Anna Griffin foil that I have that I got with my Go Press and Foil machine. And it worked fine. So all of these foils work in the... Um, 
We Are Memory Keepers foil quill, but they also will work in any of these other machines. So these are all interchangeable. So it'll work in the Toto machine, the Glimmer Sp um, machine by Spellbinders, the Go Press and Foil by Couture Creations, the Gemini Foil Press by Crafter's Companion, the Foil Quill, and of course your hot hot foil stamping system. So I just wanted to show that again, completely different from the mink foiling system. The mink foils will not work in the system. They work, they are they have to stick to a toner or an adhesive, a glue. And that's um American Crafts foil. Uh, Brutus Monroe foil, Deco foil, Creative Vision stamps foil, all of those foils are toner activated or mink foils. So don't get them confused. But if you were looking for different foils to use in your foil quill, I can tell you that all of these foils do work. And again, if you're looking to do how to do the fill function, that you're going to have to um, check out some other videos on that. I'm not going to do a video on that. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, post them below. And as always, keep on stamping. Bye-bye.